Is it time to buy or sell Intel stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Intel. Our initial report was published on our website on Friday, September 8, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since August 30, 2023, our system has ranked Intel as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 1.61. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. Those who followed our analysis would have enjoyed an impressive gain of 10.08% since we first listed Intel as a buy candidate seven days ago. This translates to an average return of 1.44% per day since it was listed as buy candidate. The stock lies in the upper part of a wide and weak rising trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good selling opportunity for the short-term trader as reaction back towards the lower part of the trend can be expected. A breakup at the top trend line at $38.21 will firstly indicate a stronger rate of rising. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 5.49% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 8.25% and 6.05%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 26.42% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 2.95% and 27.09%. This translates to a price range of $36.89 to $48.31 after a year. Our latest daily update for Intel includes the headline, Intel stock upgraded from hold slash accumulate to buy candidate after Friday trading session. The Intel stock price fell by minus 0.445% on the last day, Friday, September 8, 2023, from $38.18 to $38.01. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 2.96% from a day low at $37.71 to a day high of $38.83. The price has risen in 9 of the last 10 days and is up by 16.63% over the past 2 weeks. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by minus 24 million shares and in total, 42 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $1.60 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $38.83, and the lowest price was $24.59. Currently, the price is 2.11%, or 82 cents below the 52-week high, and 45.14%, or $31.28, below the all-time high on January 24, 2020, when the price reached $69.29. Analyst Ratings On Thursday, September 7, 2023, it was reported that Citigroup gave Intel a neutral grade with a hold action. On Wednesday, August 2, 2023, it was reported that Rosenblatt Securities gave Intel a buy grade with a hold action. On Friday, July 28, 2023, it was reported that KeyBank gave Intel a sell grade with a hold action. On Friday, July 28, 2023, it was reported that JMP Securities gave Intel a outperform grade with a hold action. On Friday, July 28, 2023, it was reported that Atlantic Equities gave Intel a underperform grade with a hold action. Analysts have given Intel stock a general buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Intel. The Intel stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. 
On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $36.59 and $34.77. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Thursday, September 7, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 0.445%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal. Pivots, sell signal two days ago. Bollinger, buy signal one day ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal 13 days ago. Long-term moving average, buy signal nine days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal five days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, buy signal nine days ago. The long-term moving average, buy signal 72 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 112 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Intel Intel finds support from accumulated volume at $36.83 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $1.12 between high and low, or 2.96%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 3.09%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Intel, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. A relatively low P-E ratio could signal a low expectation for the future of the company or that the stock is undervalued, indicating a potential buying opportunity. In other news, the next earnings report for Q3 2023 is expected on October 25, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $0.200. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Intel. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Intel is at $38.18. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Intel encounters its first support level at $36.83. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Intel from multiple analyst sources is buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On August 30, 2023, Gall Scott conducted an insider sell of 2,418 shares of restricted stock units. On August 30, 2023, Gall Scott conducted an insider buy of 2,418 shares of common stock. On August 30, 2023, Gall Scott conducted an insider sell of 1,199 shares of common stock. On August 21, 2023, Holthouse Michelle Johnston conducted an insider sell of 1 shares of common stock. On August 15, 2023, Gelsinger Patrick P. conducted an insider sell of 35,135 shares of restricted stock units. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 30.276. Overall, insiders purchased 41,018,493 shares and sold 77,264,335 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $36.65, 
minus 3.57%. This stock has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. The RSI 14 is 80 and this increases the risk substantially. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found one day ago. Is Intel stock a good buy? Several short-term signals, along with a general good trend, are positive and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for Intel stock to perform well in the short term. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a hold slash accumulate to a buy candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Monday, September 11th, we expect Intel to open up $0.174 and start trading at $38.18. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.